Hello guys, welcome back to Gitcher Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix Wild Hearts is having an issue that is crashing at startup. It is not launching, it is having won't launch issue. It is freezing and stuttering, low FPS drop, black screen issue and all these kind of issues which is happening for many of the users right now. So how we can fix this? So let me directly get into this. So the first one is all about you have to do a simple restart. That is what you have to do. For that reason, you just have to go over here in the start. You have to click on this, go for a restart. After you're done with successfully restarting, try to play the game by launching the Steam once again and you can see whether it's going to fix the issue or not. If it's not working, we have to move to the next one. That is all about you have to verify integrity of game file. So this is going to fix a lot of issue actually. For verify integrity of game file, you just have to click over here, right click, go to properties. Now from here, you have to go to local file. There is an option called verify integrity of game file. So what this is going to do is this is going to fix the issue if any files are corrupted, if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular step. And this is very important as well. You can try this out. So uh, here we are in the middle of video. So I'm going to skip this. Just click on verify integrity of game file. So this will be uh, vanished and you'll be getting some updating like things. So it's going to take a bit of time. After that, you'll be getting play option. Then try to play the game. So uh, this is going to fix a lot of issues. So this is an important step which you have to try out. And this did work for many users as well. And this did help it to many of the users when they are having these kind of issues. So you can try this out. It's going to take a bit of time. So just wait for it. After verify integrity of game file, the next is all about you have to close all the overclocking applications which is running in the background. So right now it is very important when you are running a game like Wild Hearts, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, Dead Space, you know, uh, Forza Horizon 5 you should be having enough configuration or else you'll be having all these kind of issue. But even though for some users, even they have the configuration, they have a nightmare when few things are running in the background. So in order to do this, you just have to go over here in the start right click and you just have to go to the task manager now from here as you can see here i'm using all these things which is running in the background that is google chrome screen recorder steam task manager but apart from that as you can see there are 18 and apps which is running in the background so if you keep on scrolling down a little bit you can see that is discord 32 bit as well as uh, discord is one of the overclocking applications along with reward tuner and all those things even antiviruses etc so what you have to do is just have to select this then go for end the task. You have select the respective one, go for end the task one by one. Simultaneously, you have to scroll down and go to LG Hub and many more like Riva Tuner, etc., which is draining out a lot of performance by just clearing out the closing all the overclocking applications that did work for many of the users as well. And you have to try this. Moving to the next one is all about you have to make sure that is time time zone and language and region is all correct as you can see it is all correct over here but even though i have to make sure this is all correct for that reason i have to go over here in the search i have to search for settings now i just have to open this now from here i have to go to time and language over here as you can see there is date and time so this is what you have to do so uh, over here in the date and time what you have to do is just follow the instruction like this so here, what we have to do is we just have to go to the date and time, select this and make sure this is set automatically, turn it on. Set time zone automatically should be turned on as well. And if you go back over here in the language and region, you have to make sure that is country region, it should be India. As well as if you go to the region format, this will should be in the same and also the language should be English. For me, English United States is what I'm preferring. So you have to try this out. And make sure all these things out this did work for many uses and i have no idea how this is related but this did work you have to try this as well going to the next one is all about you have to run the game on dedicated graphics card for running the game on dedicated graphics card you just have to follow the instruction you have to go over here For running the, I mean, uh, for running the game on the dedicated graphics card, you just have to follow the instruction. That you just have to go over here in the search. You have to go over here in the graphics settings. Now, from here, you just have to go over here. As you can see, these games are already added. So simultaneously, you have to click on the browse. Now, from here, this is how you have to add the game. So here, you have to navigate to where the game is installed. That is local to C. So now, just open this. From here, you just have to scroll down and navigate to program file x86. 
scroll down and navigate to over here you can keep scrolling down and navigate to steam now keep on scrolling to steam apps go to common now from here you have to go to over here on the wild hearts you have to go to this now from here you have to select the respective one and you have to add it so that is what you have to do when you're having this and once you're added it you have to make sure that what you have to do is you just have to make sure when the game is already added by successfully when it is added so just go back have to go to wild hearts uh, now we just have to select the application so this is the application so you have to select this one before add so here it is added so this is not enough apart from adding this you just have to click on the option over here and now set this to high performance this will be let windows decide change this to high performance and go for save so this is what you have to do after this being set into save go back and try to play the game and that is going to work as well this is what you have to do Moving to the next one is all about you have to increase virtual memory which is going to fix the issue a lot and this need work so you have to follow the instruction because many people keep on asking the question why did you multiply it with 1.5 or 3 in the when we are given the value for initial size as well as maximum size so just listen to me very carefully the first thing in order to reduce we just need to know what is the ram for knowing the ram if you don't know just go over here in the search go to settings now from here you just have to go to system scroll down and navigate to about over here as you can see the installed ram that is 32 gb this is how you can find so your ram might be 32 16 8 4 2 etc it might differ from 1 to 1 so you have to select the 32 gb that is mine so over here after that you just have to go to the search and you have to go for view advanced system setting now from here you just have to go to the advanced tab now under the performance you have to click on settings now from here go to advanced from here you have to click on change now over here under the virtual memory if you can see the automatically managed paging file size for all the drivers this being set into like this if it is checked you are not able to select anything so make sure this is unchecked so here i have to select the local disk where the game is installed so here in my case the local disk c is what i have installed the game so i have to select this okay so i don't have any other local disk i'm only having one local disk which is of one tv so all the game which I download from the Steam is installing on local disk C. So I have to select this one. And now I have to go to the custom size. Over here, I have to go for initial size. That is 1.5 times the total RAM. Then I just have to go to the maximum size. That is three times the total RAM. Now what I have to do is I have to use a calculator to do the calculation. So I have to open this. Now the first thing I have to convert. 32 GB is my RAM. I have to convert this into 1024. I mean, I have to convert this into MB. For that reason, I have to multiply it with 1024. That is 32 GB into 1024. That is 32,768. Now, this is the initial size value, but I have to multiply this with 1.5 times. So I have to multiply it with 1.5 times. That is 49,152. So I have to paste it. Okay. Now I have to go for the next one. That is all about 32 GB that is 1024 is sorry 32 GB into sorry okay, okay 32 GB into 1024 that is 32768 so to give the uh, maximum size I have to multiply this with 3 that is 98304 so I have to copy this I have to paste it once you're done with this initial size as well as uh, maximum size just go for ok don't get confused just multiply your respective ram with 1024 that is the common value you have to multiply it with 1024 then the initial size is always 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size is always one three times the total ram this give you these values vice versa and once after that go for ok and try to play the game and that is going to work as well this is what you have to do moving to the next one is all about you have to try dx and dx11 options along with dx12 in the launch option this did work for many of the users so i'm recommending this again and again for that you just have to go over here in the wild heart select the game right click and go to properties over here in the launch option you have to give the command that is dx11 give this command try to play the game if it's not working just give the command next one that is dx12 then try to play the game after giving the dx11 if it's not working try with dx12 if the dx12 is what you have given first go for dx11 then try to play the game after trying both these things if it's still not working then you just have to keep it like default there should not be any kind of value keep it like this if you should not be giving any value then that is going to make the scenario even worse and so you just have to do like this now moving to the next one that is all about you have to run the game as an administrator 
For running the game as an administrator, we have two methods. One, we can easily navigate from Steam. Another one is by going to the file explorer. So over here, you just have to right click and go to properties and go to local file. Now from here, click on browse. Now from here, you just have to go to this and over here, you have to go to the, uh, I think over here in the install app, somewhere else we found the value. So let me go back. So from here, you just have to go to local disk. So go to the program file x86. Keep on scrolling Steam, Steam apps. Let me go to the common and wild hearts. I have to select the game. Okay. So over here, as you can see, this is where the application is. So Steam apps, common, wild heart, game, target origin, X. And here where the, this is the application. So I have to select the wild heart. Right click and go to show more options and go to properties and go to compatibility. Over here, I have to click on run this program as an administrator. So I have to select this and I have to go for apply and go for OK. And that is going to work I like a bingo. If that is not the case, I would like to add one more thing. You have to launch the game from the installation folder. Most probably we'll be running the game on the Steam, which is causing the issue might be sometimes. For that reason, we have to launch the game from the installation folder. That means we need to navigate to this one from the Steam itself. Or you can go to via the file explorer like just I shown you right now. So I'll be showing it once again. And from here, you have to launch the game. So if you don't want this one, that is, you don't want to go via Steam, you can go to the file explorer like this. So just go to the file explorer, go to this PC. This is the local disk where the game is installed. Now just click on this. Over here, you have to scroll down, navigate to program file x86. Keep on scrolling down. Now from Steam, now we just have to go to Steam apps go to common now wild hearts then i just have to click over here on the game sorry i have to click on overlay not overlay i have to click on support go to ea help so i'll go back once again i think it is game target origin x i have to click on this then i just have to launch the game that is what i have to do as well next one is all about you have to do is you just have to update the game i mean update the graphics card which is going to work like a bingo for that i'll be giving few link in the description that is for the nvidia for those who are on the amd i'll be i'll be providing that link as well so just go to this link now over here in the nvidia i have to go to the drivers so uh, i just have to click on this now from here as you can see the nvidia driver download so here the driver is product type that is geoforce product series is geoforce rtx 14 series Product is Geoforce RTX 4090 laptop GPU. Now the operating system is Windows 11. Now I have to click on download type, that is language I have to go for search. Now from here, this is the version that is 528.49 and the release date is 2023. Which is released around 8th, that is in the last week and the operating system for both 16, I mean 64 bit 11 and 10 is available and it is English and language and it is 814.49 MB. Sorry, 59 MB. So you just have to download this. So if you're on the AMD, just do the same. Go to the graphics, select the respective one from here. Just go for submit. Now from here, we'll be getting this option that is Windows 11 as Windows 10. Select the Windows 11, download this option. If you're on Windows 10, you have to download this option as well. After downloading and installing this, that is going to work as well. You have to try with this that's going to work so you have to try with updating the graphics card Re do a restart in both the case for nvidia as well as for the amd then try to play the game if that is not in working in the case we have to move to the next one that is all about we have to download and install microsoft visual c plus plus this is the google so here i have to search for over here microsoft visual c plus plus now go to the first link over here this is what it is so we are having the option for x86 x64 so here you just have to go to over here in the search and go to settings. Now from here you have to go to system because we should know what is actually yours. So go to the about. From here it is visible. If you have any doubt which one is actually your system is running on, that is 64-bit operating system, x64 base processor is mine. So that is how I shown you right now how we can navigate to this. So frame rate is understand that mine is 64-bit. So I have to go back to the respective link. I have to download this one and install it. After successfully installing this, try to play the game and this is going to work as well. This did work out for me in many of the gamers when you're having this issue with modern warfare and all those things did work. So you have to do the same. Next one is all about you have to try with. You have to update the windows. That is what you have to do for updating the windows is quite important. So go over here in the search, go to settings. Now from here, you have to go to Windows update in the bottom left. Update, I mean, get try for any update. And as you can see, there are many updates I'm available. So I have to update it. 
So I have to click on install all and install it everything and once after that restart and try to play the game. That is going to work as well. Next one is all about you have to perform a clean boot. For that I will go over here. Go to the system configuration search like this system configuration. Click on this. Now from here go to services. Over here. Just click on disable all. Okay. Keep in mind when you are doing this you have to click on this hide all Microsoft services. After that, click on disable all because it is grayed out for me. I did this recently quite time back. So that is why it is disabled. So once you click on this hide all Microsoft services, go for disable all and you have to go for OK and try to play the game. Then when you do this step, they're going to ask you for a restart. Go for restart, then try to play the game. Last and the least one is all about for some users. When they updated the latest version of graphics card, that the scenario that made them really worse and they had a lot of issue apart from crashing, they ended up in black screen freezing and all those things. So we have to fix the issue. For that is you have to roll back the driver, maybe the latest version is having a lot of issue. For that reason, you just have to go over here in the start, click on this and go to device manager. Now from here, you have to go to the display adapters, select the respective NVIDIA Geoforce RTX, right click and go to properties. Now go to driver. So there is an option called roll back the driver. So if the rollback driver is available, just roll it back. That is what you have to do. So this is very important step which you have to try out. And after doing this, this did work out for many users and this did help with them. You can try this out without any issue. So that is as well. Moving to the next one is all about the last one which I would like to make you add over here is you have to uninstall the game and reinstall it back when you're in uninstall sorry when you're reinstalling back you have to make sure one thing so uninstalling the game is quite easy go to the game over here just click on this and manage and go for uninstall the game but when you're reinstalling it back over here like you said in the video I'm only having local to see so all the games which I download from the uh, steam will be automatically saved over here so I don't have, if I uninstall the game from here, then I'm reinstalling back on the C, which is, there is no point in it. So if you might be having many disks, so you just have to in, install the game back to the local disk D or E or vice versa. So you should not be installing from which one is you're already uninstalled. And this is what you have to do. And these are the possible workarounds that you have to try out when you're having an issue with uh, Wild Hearts is crashing issue. It is having not launching. It is, uh, you know, it is having won't launch. Uh, as well as it is having freezing, stuttering, black screen and all these kind of issues and how it can fix this up. And I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.